everyone, welcome to another edition of the Library Marketing Show. I'm Angela Hirsch from superlibrarymarketing.com, the website that helps you with your library marketing. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about why it is sometimes okay to push send even when your e-blast or e-newsletter is not perfect. It's best for me to explain this using an example. I was speaking with a librarian from the Dallas Public Library about an email she sent out for her community after the recent ice storm cold spat that they had in February. And this email she was expressing to me, she didn't think it was very pretty. It was a list of resources, um, things like how to get your power back on, how to get your water fixed, what to, who you can call to get your downed trees taken away. Um, if you had damage to your house, who you can contact to help you out with that. So important resources that her community needed, but it wasn't very visually pleasing and she felt like it wasn't her best effort. And I told her that sometimes what your community needs is more important than what your e-blast or newsletter looks like. So this particular e-blast, and I'm gonna put a link to this down in the description. She did give me permission to share it um, as an, an example of how to do this in a crisis. Um, so you can click on it and look at it and you will come to understand that in a crisis, the content that you can send out to your community comes first. So in general, we want our e-newsletters and e-blasts to be visually pleasing, but sometimes it's more important to get those resources out. And you can be pretty to a point, so you'll notice in the newsletter, she does have some visuals and she put in some section breaks and she's done as much as she can do, but she didn't want to delay sending this newsletter out because it was so important that her community get that information. And I think that is the bottom line. Your intent matters most in these situations. So if your community is in crisis and they need help and your library can provide that for them, remember to that you don't have to be perfect, that your intent is what is going to matter in the end. And that's what's gonna build trust in your library and create that emotional connection that we're always trying to do with your community. Do you have thoughts? Do you agree? Have you ever had a situation in which your community has been in crisis and you needed to uh, send out information to them? Let us know, let's talk about it. You can let us know down in the comments. You can also go to superlibrarymarketing.com and click on the Library Marketing Show tab to suggest a topic for a future episode or to nominate someone from your own library or another library for kudos. And our kudos this week goes to the Clearwater Public Library System. They have, basically their YouTube channel is a masterclass in how to put together an interesting, entertaining and engaging YouTube channel for libraries. In particular, I want you to pay attention to a playlist and I'm gonna link it down in the description. This playlist is of um, a series that they started called Librarians Try, which is kind of, I think, based off the Try Guys. Um, and they try different things and they're librarians and it's really fun and exciting to watch. Um, it's nothing, they're not like trying daredevil things. Uh, their latest episode was pendulum painting. It's just a lot of fun and it's very interesting and engaging. So check out their YouTube channel and see if you can get some inspiration and ideas from Clearwater Public Library System. That's it for today's episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.